this is all about you. This is your weekly, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Form Without Boundaries. This full moon energy, and I'm so glad that you guys are tonight. You're tonight, you're right now. Because this is beautiful, beautiful, lovely, romantic energy to this full moon. This energy of just wholeness and peace that I've been experiencing. And I'm a complete lunatic. And so I fit right in today. And I think that I'm in good company right now. So Scorpio, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries on this beautiful full moon in Cancer Day. Scorpio, there's your energy right here at the bottom of the deck. Let's get into this reading. Full uh, oracle card spread here, and then the tarot card spread that extends and articulates this is the extended link below. Just look in the description box. That link is right below, and it includes a romantic predictions for the next seven days as well. So this is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign. Anywhere Scorpio energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Please, if it doesn't fit, do not squeeze it. It may not be, may, it may not be for you. So let's get your, your crowning energy is out. <laughs> Interesting. There's this past, present, and future aspect to your reading. Interesting. Okay. Big reading. Lots of energy. Lots to say. Cards have a lot to say. That's good. Scorpio, I love you guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Our crowning energy. Surrender now. You're not about to surrender to sh Oh, no, 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 no. In fact, this is the energy of you not going too close to the flame. Of you being like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh no, I, it's like, it, it would be the energy of being in a horror film and actually living because you got the hell out of there as soon as shit got weird. <laughs> That's what this is the energy. You have no inkling, you have no intention of surrendering. This is, oh no, I, I will die another day. I am coming back to do battle again. You think I'm retreating? I'm not retreating. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going to get my shit together and I'm coming back at you. There is this energy of you're nowhere near surrender. You're not giving up. This is 150%. You know what you want to happen and you are dead set. Your mind is done. It is fixed and certain of its target. And there's a no way that you're going to get burned this time. This is the energy of not wanting to get burned again, not believing you're going to get burned, not caring that you're going to get burned. This is the energy of being like, whoa, uh-uh, I'm not getting stuck with that again. This is that energy, that energy of I know from experience, you know, it's almost also like, listen, when, when he's, when this card is in reverse, uh, this is three and nine, nine. This is the energy of three. So, the energy of three is, is almost like you're in complete and total union and balance with what's hell, what the hell is happening. And you don't mistake retreating or falling back this time around, or, or you don't, you're not mistake. You, you, you're not making the same mistake again. That's what, that's what this is the energy of. This is the energy of nope, nowhere near it, not going anywhere near it, knowing better, understanding and being completely in tune like antenna up to the heavens, but completely tuned in to what's really going on, to the truth and being very, very, very well aware and not about to handle anybody's BS or fall for shit. That's the energy that's coming out. Time to collaborate is the other energy in one. This is essentially you're not giving up, you're not surrendering, and you're not falling for the same shit when it came to relationships. And that's the way we begin our reading on the full moon. Let's do this, Scorpio. Let's lay it down. Your energy, and this was on the bottom of the deck too, let it shine. Say what you need to say. The truth is coming out. In fact, you're exposing some shit. This is the energy of calling somebody out on their bullshit. This is the like, nope, uh, nope, nope, nope. 
I see what you said. I see what you said. But what, what, what are you really trying to say? This is what's really going on of seeing the truth about something, of something not being revealed to you, but you knowing the truth and you revealing it or you pointing out somebody's bullshit or pointing out something that wasn't right. This is the energy of, no, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up and you're going to listen to me. Let it shine. Let yourself shine. This is you shining. This is you taking the stand. This is you about done because it's the number 10 completion, completing a full circle. You could have completed a relationship. You could have completed the need. A certain relationship pattern or cycle is over for you of not going anywhere near that again type of energy. Um, claim your independence. This is definitely deciding that you're not going to go anywhere near that again, that you're not touching it, that you don't need it, that you're better in it, you move past it. This is you resurrecting yourself in a whole new life and you're just fine being who you are. This is a scent, a strong sense of self and also a playfulness. This is the energy of having the energy to be fearless and be bold and not be afraid and to live in the moment. And honestly, this is the energy of cat. So cat is like... I don't give a shit, <laughs> you know, that's the energy, that's the energy of, oh, say what you need to say, mm -hmm. I don't give a shit, <laughs> that's, that's what there's this energy today, there is something about, um, this could also be basically calling somebody out on their games, that's what this is the energy of, be here now. You are not surrendering, but you are living in this moment. You are standing in your power. You're not giving over, but you're giving and you're meeting oneness. This is a sense of being completely energized and alive and awakened. This is Libra energy. So this is balance. This is suckling on the teat of abundance and happiness and prosperity. This is enjoying the juiciness that is in front of you and not getting sucked back into a situation that you know all too well because the truth has come out and it has been revealed and because you've changed that's why you've changed you're daring this is the energy of yeah you're done two plus two is four you have your your center of balance you you're grounded you have you can go anywhere you can leap and do acrobatics in the air because you know who you are and you're not going to get flung around by people anymore. You change. This is a this is a new time, a new direction for you. Emotionally, you're not going back to where you were. You've turned knowledge into wisdom. You've seen the light. This is the truth coming out in the dark. This is something being revealed to you, a truth that you can't let go. But this is also a deep abiding loyalty, a sense of that alpha male knowing his direction and knowing what he wants um that sense of sensuality that comes in the dark howling at the moon not being afraid to be your full self out loud but uh simultaneously you don't need nobody not everybody needs to know you need to know you've reached these conclusions but there is a sense of keeping things to yourself like not needing to make a big show about this like I know who I am. I know where I am. I'm not falling for that shit again, but you don't need to know. Dream the world into being. Letting go of the past and only thinking about the future. The energy of 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2. This is a second 2 card. This is about finding balance and finding your feet, finding your direction in the dark. And almost it's almost like... You know, moth to a flame. Understand that the moth flies to the flame because it's light and you're not flying toward the flame because guess what? You see in the dark. You're not you're not believing somebody's bullshit. That's what it is. You're not believing the, the trick, the, the shadows on the wall. You're not you're not being fooled by projections or light shows. You see through that. There is a, a, an essence, a set a sense of real firmness this could also be a collaboration that has the truth attached to it or an unexpected collaboration that sort of empowers you or mm, i don't know about that hold on watch your words you're not talking much you're not you're not saying much you're keeping things to yourself there is this energy of you know something you're aware of something you'll speak up against it will it shed light on you it shed light on you you may be using your voice, but at the same time, it's almost like, no, you're not using your voice. You've noticed it. You've seen it. You've realized it. There's this truth about it. Maybe you, it's almost like finding that voice inside yourself. But 
this is a quiet sort of walking away of not exposing something or somebody or not giving somebody away. It could also be an energy of you seeing somebody else flying into danger and trying to save them and help them keep them away. But the truth is they're the only ones that can, can save themselves. So this is an energy though of your, you refuse to give up on something. Yeah, you refuse to give up on something, but you know the way that you speak, and Libra got this energy too, the way that you speak this week is going to have a lot of effect and influence on how far you get. Sweet results await. There's abundance there. No, there's just a sugar in the honey. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancerian. Um, sweet results await in letting go. And I think that you know that. I think this is a hard won victory because clearly this was an emotional situation, but it's definitely something that you refuse to give up on. It's an energy, yes, you refuse to give, you refuse to give up on it. It's almost like you refuse to give up on it, but you're letting, it's almost like forgiveness. Deciding to forgive somebody, knowing them and seeing them clearly for who exactly who they are, but thinking and seeing that they're beautiful anyway and refusing to give up. Or let's leave, re keep reading the cards. You see clearly now, see this is like too many cards on the table. You see their disloyalty. You see their disloyalty and you see that, okay. You see their disloyalty. You see how, how disloyal they've been to you and what a snake they were. You see the treachery. You see very, very clearly now how they sort of whittled their way into your life, manipulated and deceived. You see how it happened. Now, this could be something that's happened to you in the past. And that's why you're not flying too close to the sun because there's a potential relationship that somehow reminds you or points out you see common characteristics. And then this could be, it's almost like red flags are flying this week, Scorpio. This isn't a bad thing though because you're, you're refusing to fly into them. That is a very, very good energy. This is having learned from the past. This is, that's why I turn knowledge into wisdom because now you know what's in the dark. You've seen what's hidden in the dark and you're not falling for it again. But in some ways, and I have to say this, there's still a part of you that loves it. Time for a beginner mind. Being bristly, being defensive, and re once again, refusing to fall for stuff. Coming in with your full defenses. And, and yeah, I'm bristly. Yeah, I'm bristly. You can see my bristles on the outside. I love them. I adore who I am. I'm going to walk in there with pride. If you don't think I'm beautiful, that's fine, because this is me. You're starting over, but you're starting over with a chip on your shoulder. How else would you start over? <laughs> that chip on your shoulder is almost like it's keeping you balanced. A new way to look at love. You've been through the ringer. And this is a new way to look at love. Because what you had considered loyalty before was really only manipulation. And I think that you're realizing that now. You're seeing it. And now you're very defensive when it comes to love. You're deciding to not fall for the same shit. But you're also, at the same time, over the next seven days, I feel like there's this energy of, well, how will I know what love is at this point? Let spirit be your guide. This is a feeling of being turned or flipped upside down, of not, not trusting yourself. Not trusting yourself. There's always enough. Be fearless and bold. There's this energy of somebody who was too forward with you, who was too much, 
who wanted to surround you and almost like it's almost like they disconnected you from your spirituality more than they connected it to you maybe that could have worked to their behavior, their benefit to like keep you trapped be fearless and bold this is an energy of being overwhelmed by emotion This is about changing how you feel about somebody. That's what this is about. You have canary spirit, sing your own song and take a leap of faith. Question is, what are you taking a leap of faith into? You, yourself. Grounding your energy is the abundant universe will provide. This is Taurus energy, finding abundance in nature, natural abundance. This is Virgo energy, lay a solid foundation. This is about finding abundance somewhere that you normally wouldn't find it. This is about setting, like uh, building positive roots. Maybe in the past, you haven't treated somebody right. Be peace and life is a mystery. Balance and love. Not even understanding. I feel like this, honestly, act as if. Fake it till you make it. Scorpio, this is an energy of almost awakening, being shaken awake. Not really knowing what love is anymore. Questioning what is love really. I thought that I felt it before. I thought that I had it before. But at the same time, have I? Have I really? And trying to find some sort of, but there's this, it's like the divine, that divine phrase, I don't know. And I've been saying that all in my dailies, right? I don't really know what love is. I thought I did. I thought I did. But what was, what had felt like love to me in the past doesn't feel like love to me now. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. This is about disillusionment. That's what this is about about something that you thought you adored. And this might not be a person. This might be your profession. This sense of even when things are going very, very well and abundance is coming into your life. And it's almost like all of a sudden now people are starting to notice you. and People are starting to see you. And it's good stuff, but it's almost like you didn't really want everybody to see you. You cared about specific person's attention, specific people's attention. It wasn't about getting a lot of attention and a lot of notoriety or being in the spotlight. It's like, it's almost like you want your independence from the spotlight. You want your independence from everybody jumping on your shit all the time. It's almost like you, you don't want to handle the bullshit. You're not going to play somebody else's game. That's the energy that's coming through. You are not submitting to uh, that, this, this, the, the way that everybody wants to do things. There's a sense of something not being right, something disoriented, almost like you're having to put on a mask this week to just get through the abundance that you're receiving because it's almost like you feel like this abundance is ripping you away from your truth and who you really are because there has been this moment or this past experience that has taught you to not trust this type of environment, this type of atmosphere that you're in right now. And so what should be making you feel, because there's a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of good luck. People are singing your praises. And I think your life is taking a huge leap forward. But there's also this sensation of, I'm not ready to be happy right now. I don't feel comfortable with this. I want to be noticed. I want to be realized. I want that person to want me. But at the same time, now that they want me, are they the person that I still want? Is this what I really want? And how do I make this, turn this into what I really want? It's almost like this whole week, there's this energy of I'm not, I'm not giving in to what they want me to be. I'm just going to be me. It's like going into every room, brooding and, and dark. It's like, I'm going to remain a little bit of a mystery. Let them reach out to me because I'm not going to them. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what's going to happen. Let them come to me. I'm not going to them. And I'll sit here and I'll blend in. But everybody's going to know as soon as they get into my prayer, they're going to feel my vibration. 
They're going to have to make the moves toward me. I'm not making the moves toward them. I want to see their first moves. I want to see the way that they move. I want all this shit out on the table because I have learned too much about getting burned or disappointed in the past. And I feel almost like I'm in the presence again of the same kind of snakes. But I know how to douse out a snake now. I'm bringing my defenses and I'm not being vulnerable. That's the sense of you on high guard, but it's not a bad week for you. It's actually a week of abundance, but it's almost like you can feel yourself in a snake pit. You may be surrounded by abundance, but you also know it's almost like you feel yourself in a snake pit. If that makes any sense. So you are not going to go charging in. You're not giving up either. There's no way you're giving over to this work or this collaboration. There's no way. That's just that energy of the, of they're going to have to come to me. <laughs> I'm so curious as to what it is you're handling or dealing with Scorpio. I'm already shuffling the freaking tarot cards. So let's see what's over in the tarot cards. Also, we're going to do your romantic reading too. You guys, I'll see you on the other side. The link is below.